Yeah. One of the issues also roguelikes have to deal with is, like, you have to kind of have... I guess people have this, like, built-in um, bullshit threshold, and some people's are, like, way higher than others, as, uh, as shown by the YouTube comments. Um, but, you know, people are only willing to put up with so much before, uh, before they get sick of a game. And so if a game is, like, too, too, uh, too bullshit, everybody's just gonna quit and lose interest real fast. And so you only end up with me. You only end up with the, uh, the most, I guess, durable of players, uh, sticking with it, which can be a good thing. That way you end up with, like, a really hardcore fan base that actually, you know, appreciates the complicated game you've made. But you will end up with quite a lot of people that are, uh, you will end up with quite a lot of people that are just like, this game is, like, not fun. Um... Let's see. I think items won't decay in non-guns if they're stocked in crypt coffins. But that's kind of the problem. They don't they don't decay in the crypt, but like they still decay during your run. So I guess what you could do is yeah, you could just uh, take them back with you, storm in the crypt, and then use them on the next run. But generally, I'm kind of a focus on the singular run type deal. I don't know. I just I don't want to play a roguelike where the uh, the base mechanic is grinding. I mean, I guess I'm grinding here. But I'm mostly just grinding here because... Wow. Look at this mess. This is mostly why I'm using the magnetic grenade and cluster bomb. It's just like, hello all of the enemies. Um, Because, yeah, with games like non-guns, you die, you lose everything that you hadn't banked up. Which, I guess, you can bank, like, everything, and it's not a problem. Um, but losing all that progress is brutal. That's why games like uh, Binding of Isaac do so well. It's because, yeah, you unlock stuff, but every room run is completely self-contained. And so, getting set back to the beginning is only about an hour's worth of work. Um, whereas, like, non-guns, you could potentially lose, like, hours and hours of grinding worth of items just because you didn't do things right. <sighs> Let's see, did Dead Cells get an update? Uh, supposedly the update for this game is coming later this week. Though I don't know how much, uh, content they're going to be adding. I think they're adding, like, new weapon types and some kind of, like, elemental, uh, effects that you can combo. Which could actually be, like, run-changing in a lot of ways. But kind of remains to be seen. There we go. Like how backstabbing enemies stuns them. At least I think it does. Looks like that. Oops. Ah. That's bad. Never had. Never been on the mid level with one of these guys. Ah, come on. He throws his axe, falls off, and doesn't catch his axe. Well. That's uh, okay. But yeah, also, the boss in non-guns is just not fun. If non-guns was kind of closer to this, I think I'd be more inclined to do it, because generally, as long as you know what you're doing, you can make it your way all the way up to the, like, final level. Oh, I don't want to go down. I forgot there's nothing down there for me. Um. But, like, I don't even have, like, a particularly OP setup right now. I just know my way around, and I can make it work. Um, but if you have, like, a, a really garbage boss that just kind of axes this... Well, I mean, I guess really it's the same as the the second boss in this game. Ow, what? Oh, interesting. The magnetic grenade can actually pull his... Cannonballs back in. I didn't know that. You can also pull enemies past me. Bloodsword 5. Nah, don't want to deal. Um. Okay. Just gonna keep my distance. This looks like the end, maybe? No, it's not the end. Oh, that's okay. What do we got down here? Please be another stat point. I do so love extra stat points, and it's not. 
Do not want to fight around one of these doors. So damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. I'd rather have the overall 30% reduction, though. Makes a lot more sense. Uh, let's see. Be fun to see something like in Has Been Heroes. Poison the Water Pool. Oh, absolutely! Uh, saying that... Uh, I didn't have a positive response for Has Been Heroes. Has Been Heroes is like one of my top five games this year. I just played it for 35 episodes. Honestly, 30 episodes is usually my, um, is my, uh, not bullshit threshold, but just my threshold where either the game has to be like truly phenomenal or just long, uh, for me to want to go past that point. Anything past 30 episodes and it, it's, uh, oof. But yeah, no, has been has been heroes has an amazing system. Honestly, if you wanna if you wanna design a roguelike, uh, that is a that is a perfect example of how to have uh, both like in run and out of run progression systems that absolutely keep the uh, the game interesting and fun for for I mean pretty much the entire duration of the game. Uh I'd love to play that game again, it's just I'm taking a little bit of a break. I don't know. It's mainly just I hit the end of available content, so after that point it would just become grinding to unlock the last couple skins, and it's just like, ah. I don't know. <laughs> it, I just got to the end of that, and I was just like, it takes like six episodes to, to do a run of Has Been Heroes. And, uh... Uh, six episodes per run, and I have to do this, like, 30-something times uh, to get everybody. There's no way I had the uh, the time to unlock every character, even if I wanted to. Okay, so we're probably going to die in the graveyard. The, um, the hook guys. Probably with the mist maker. There's just too much to have to deal with. And my damage is not, uh... Okay. My damage ain't great. Especially because these guys have an immediate, uh, hard-to-react-against kick move. Which makes them particularly garbage. Ow. This is, uh, this area specifically, Graveyard, is... I mean, honestly, even the, the... The Wharf is a good example of why I generally don't do... Holy crap. Uh, why I don't generally do melee builds. Because they're... They just... This game is not built for it. You get this far in and you're like, uh, there's no way I can do this. Also, the freaking birds. But that's okay. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, well, more damage. I really like the Assassin's Dagger, but, um... It's so hard, especially in, like, a melee, to figure out if I'm even hitting enemies from behind. Like, I really would actually like it if this game almost went with more of, kind of, like, a, a Souls-like, um, feel. Uh, Salt and Sanctuary did it really well, where generally you were only up against, like, maybe one or two enemies at a time. And everything was super, super clear about, like, if you're attacking them from one direction or another. Ah, oh, crap, there's a room there. Uh, you can duck under the hook. Oh, that's useful. But the hook really isn't actually the, the issue for me. It's the, um, it's the kick. Because I can duck under the hook, but honestly, I don't even mind the hook. I, I guess it does do damage, doesn't it? But it's the, it's the fact that he can kick me like that, and I don't have a choice. I can't even see it coming. Uh, especially amongst, like, all of the other special effects. Um, that's what makes it frustrating, because it's just like, oh, okay, I guess I just take 50 damage here, and now I have to get back to him. Which is risky, because, hook? I guess I can just alternate sides and just hope for the best. Should work. Let's see, is the lore of this game already known? As far as I can tell, no. As, as far as I know, it's just 
kind of completely... Oh, come on! I, like, scooted off of him because of the roll and ended up in the spikes. Really, I don't... This game has weird collision issues. Oh, if you block the birds, it's instant death for them. Good to know. I guess, gotta remember, can block projectiles here. I wonder if I can block the hook. Ooh, carrot. Useful. Okay, so it's not instant death for those birds, it's the other birds. Probably not bomb bats, though. I assume bomb bats are, um, are not fair game. Okay. So we got the we got the key. Sometimes there's like loads of secrets around here, but I think today we've got like one. It's always just money too. I don't know. Secret hunt secret hunting is really underwhelming when it's oh, the electric whip. Well, I'm gonna get it because it's a plus one strength bonus. I think the shield might have actually been a plus one too, but this way we can take out the bomb bats. And go secret hunting. But yeah, it's super underwhelming because all the secrets are just small denominations of cash. It's like, no, oh, give me something that I can use. Hell, I'd take, um, actually, that, that'd be kind of a nice system. Um, if, uh, it'd almost be nice if the secrets actually gave you, like, um, Uh, fragments of a stat up. I mean, honestly, I still think this game should go uh, for like a uh, EXP uh, skill tree system that's uh, specific to every run or something like that. That would kind of immediately solve the, whoa, where am I? I tried rolling behind him. That didn't work. Um, but yeah, like an EXP skill, skill based system would probably do uh, absolute wonders. Oh, that almost went bad. Uh, we almost got booted right into the spikes. Um, but that way you wouldn't have to worry about the, uh, the RNG nearly as much. You could have some, like, kind of fun customization there, and you could actually make secrets worth something. The only problem is it could get a little bit fiddly, or unbalanced, but I don't know. But yeah, it, the other thing would be, like, if they would just remove setups from the secrets, I'd also be okay with that, actually. Uh, because I feel, I feel compelled to actually, um... I feel compelled to finish, or not finish, find every secret. You're still alive. That's not okay. Uh, I feel compelled to find every single secret available. Um, I guess I sh should probably just whip him. We actually do enough damage that the electric whip is dangerous in this one. Um... Oh, right. And this one's still not openable for whatever reason. Um... Because nothing's more frustrating than going through an entire run, searching for all the secrets and finding no stat-ups, and maybe about mm, 5,000 gold. Yep. Gotta make sure I don't get spiked here. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We've already been through... No, have I? I have no idea. Oh, I... Guess I'll just whip my way through these things. Let's see, can I use triple jump to get on top of that cliff above the door? Maybe? I guess I just never went in here. Huh. Weird, that doesn't happen very often. Eh, happens often enough. Usually I get distracted. Guess it's probably just here for the, uh... Chest. Nah, pass. Go back, there's a secret I missed. Eh... It's just not worth the time. Oh, there's a secret in here. But again, like 600 gold. Yay, I've got 30,000. I don't know. I feel uh I feel like a cranky old man when I play this game. It's just like I am unthankful for every bit of this game. But I mean really it all just comes down to I know this game could be better. And so that's why I always get this um why I always have this reaction. Uh I actually have this reaction to a lot of games where uh, I run into a game that's like, it's neat, but it's flawed, and I'm like, alright, we're going into pure critique time because 
let's think about all the ways that this could be improved. Okay. Uh, do we want a magnetic grenade six? Sixty damage a second versus that, but you know, I'm actually gonna keep with the uh, exploding, uh, the current one. Makes enemies explode. Seems like it's more useful. Ah, oh, crap. My magnetic grenade actually pulled them away from me, so I rolled in front of them. Oh, that's my fault. Oh, come on! There we go. Oh, there was a zombie in there. It wasn't a zombie originally. Okay. We've actually got enough heals. And yeah, we actually do a fair amount of damage with the backstabs, too. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I just feel like uh, with a bit of a rethink, this game could be truly amazing. But mainly it's going to need years before it gets there. Oh, well. That's okay. We got half a billion other, like, really good games. Oh, there's a missed color. Where are those dudes are there? I have no... Ow! Oh, that's okay. At least we get most of our HP back. Well, for a mostly melee run, this is actually a fair bit more effective than it usually goes. Ugh. Mist colors are like the most dangerous thing ever to, uh, to melee runs. Ooh. Just realized we're actually pretty low on health. Ooh, hi. Okay. Um... What do we want to do? I want phaser. We need the HP. Let's get that. Let's... Get rid of the magnetic grenade. It's not as useful. Let's see. Don't think years. The reason why I say years is because indie development is, like, super time-consuming. Um... I... Uh, I was playing mid-boss this uh, past couple days, uh, which is really fun. Um, and, you know, fairly well made, but really, um, really content sparse, I guess would be the exact uh, term I'd use. The game only has, like, so many enemies and uh, a lot of repetition, and that kind of sucks because, you know, it's a super solid game, Held back entirely by the fact that it's a single, uh, single person indie dev project. Um, and so like only one person could only make so much, but even then, like, took her, I want to say, um, took her four and a half years to make that game, which is kind of crazy town, like. If you're not, uh, if you think games get developed fast, it's like, no. Some things can go really fast. Bigger teams can definitely, like, chew through a game real quick. But, uh, small teams, like this one, uh, sometimes it does take years for, like, substantive changes to be made. Which sucks. I guess I'll just t toss cluster bombs at it. Okay. Well, I'm getting better at fighting the hook guys. Ow. Birds hurt. Birds really hurt. But I'm getting better at fighting them. Okay. I've been really curious about this. It feels like um, sometimes my HP... Uh, comes back a little bit. No idea why. Okay, there we go. I really like Phaser. Really like Phaser. I like the Assassin's Dagger. I just wish uh, enemies were 
Uh, generally solitary, fewer and far, uh, farther between. And, you know, there was kind of more of a dance of death as opposed to a race to the finish. Ow. Okay, that got bad. Mist collars are risky. Oh, right, and I can't use phaser against them. I can't use phaser against enemies that have been um, partially obscured by the mist. Like, it just does not work, even if you've, like, partially revealed them, it's a no-go. Ow. Ow. Where? Where? Who? Uh, yeah, what? I don't get it. Where'd all these birds come from? These are not acceptable things, probably. At least I can hit them from there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yellow health shows up after I take damage. No, 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 no. I mean, like, the, the health potion recharges. Sorry. I've, I've, uh, I've found myself, like, um, ruminating about things. He critted with that. I really hate the kick. I'm like, I'm gonna go fight this guy. Nope. Oh, because we got caught on the ledge. I I was just gonna jump and hit, but unfortunately, because we um, because we uh, because we were next to a ledge, we immediately just um, we immediately just grabbed onto it and he kicked us in the face again. But yeah, the hook guys are super garbage. If you have an enemy that can do that much damage, they better not be able to do it instantly. <laughs> Imagine if the Taurus demon could just, like, quickly whip around and hit you with his tail for, like, you know, maybe a quarter of what he usually does. But still. There we go. Okay, too many, too many enemies. Am I playing on PC? Is there... Is this game on any other platform? I don't think it is. Ow. Hey, Carrot. Started watching an episode 6 and the difference in skill is super obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you play a game for 30 episodes and you get a lot better at it. Uh, I think there's also a certain point of acceptance where I eventually was just like, this game's garbage and I know it, but at least I'll make the most of it. Oh, what controller am I using? I see, that's where the confusion came from. I'm using an Xbox One controller. Uh, they're way more comfortable than, like, trying to play keyboard and mouse. <laughs> I can't even imagine that would work. Well, let's finish off this, uh, torch. And let's go get our ass kicked by this boss. Cause yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able. To, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the uh, uh, tentacular, or whatever you want to call him, the Watcher. I mean, I guess it works. He does have a singular eye. What? Okay. Uh. For a game all with like no built-in aerial combat. It's kind of rough. It's kind of rough to have a boss that is entirely... Um, oh, you can! Uh, these guys do have a, a backside. That's good. Okay. We have a chance, and we kind of get uh, zipped back whenever it happens. Okay. And we kind of can stun lock it there, too. That's good. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to beat this one. This boss is particularly frustrating. But as long as he doesn't hit me too much, I think we're okay. 
I don't know what that was. That was weird. Does he have, like, a shield or something? Oh. I'm just gonna stay away from this. That'll get worse. Oh! He's got a lightning shield field thing. Well, that's interesting, frustrating. Okay. So that probably comes from being too close to him. Yeah, so if you're too close to him for too long... Uh, I really wish we had something other than um, Buster Grenade for this. Uh, I'm just trying to phase strike him, and it's not working. That is way too short of a range. I feel like you shouldn't be able to use phase strike if you don't have uh, if you don't actually have a, a viable target. Okay, there we go. I might be able to make this work. Ow. <sighs> what? The speeding tentacle can hit you from behind. Well, that's a new and frustrating bit. Ow. Oh, and you, you can warp to the invincible boss. But yeah, so the uh, the tentacle that moves from left to right uh, can hit you from behind if you've um, uh, if you get close enough to it. That's annoying. Okay. Well, we've probably got one more tentacle phase after this. Yeah, he's only at ha the halfway point. We've only used one of our heals though. So, we might actually be able to take this boss down. If I can take this boss down without Uber Whip, I think I'm going to be very satisfied with myself. The fact that I can't, um, hit this guy from behind in any way, shape, or form is kind of frustrating. I think I actually do more damage just by whipping him repeatedly. Ah! Ah! Uh, maybe I should have gone with, uh, projectile damage reduction. Probably not. Oh, well, that's okay. I guess I could always just, uh, warp, whip him. There we go. Drink. At least they have a backside that I can hit. That's the main thing I care about. Okay. Because this would be super frustrating garbage. If it didn't. Okay. They're getting punchier, but that's okay, because I got warp crits. Ow. Is it just me, or did these guys get a bit of a field nerf there? Okay, also, do these guys, um... No, they don't. They don't ga gain HP, so if you actually, um, injure them equally... Uh, if you injure them equally, they will, uh... They will actually... There we go. If you injure them equally, they will actually, uh, stay injured, so you can actually have a really easy time when they go into Berserk mode. Well, that's useful. Get back here. Uh-oh. That hurt. Well, that's okay. Oh, ow, 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 ow. ow. That's frustrating. Nothing but. Okay, that's the end of my heals, but it's pretty close to the end of him. Okay. What the fuck? What? No! What? No! He one-shot me! I phased right into his poison nova. We got shotgun. God. I 
Ow. That was one of my best runs ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that is definitely that is definitely a rage quit moment. I I don't, I think I'm gonna have to I I think I'm gonna have to put that game down <laughs> or this game down for at least a couple of nights. That is that was not fair. It was so close too. Like two more hits. Does the watcher not have a backside to phase behind? Nope. No, I just get close to him. Yeah, I should have gone with the 75% projectile damage reduction. You're probably right. Have I beaten the Watcher yet? Yeah, I have repeatedly. Um, but that was the first time I've uh, I've ever gotten close to beating the Watcher without the uh, double damage buffer. It's not double damage. It's like ten times as much. That's that's how many times I've beaten. I, like, I've beaten that guy, and I do tons of damage with the damage buffer. That was the first time I ever beat that boss uh, with actually, like, a, a legit setup. Um, and I was super proud of myself. I'm like, yeah, I actually have enough skill to beat this. And then I phased right into the poison shotgun, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, This patch can't come soon enough. Like, all I need is, like, a tenth of a second of a... A, a tenth of a second of a... Uh, of a... iframe. You know, you take damage and you got a tenth of a second to get away from an enemy. Like, that's barely anything. But that way you don't get hit by, like, seven enemies or, you know, 20 shots at the same time and die. But yeah, no, I uh, I still would have gotten wrecked by the tentacles even if I had taken the poison damage reduction. The, uh, the full damage reduction would have been smart. Oh... <sighs> Okay, 